or anything like that. I'm hoping that, well, it won't be retracted, I know. But that the court was closed and that the PECH was in private, that was not true at all. And she knew that. But I guess she, no, she couldn't can see the defendant. If you, um, you can see yourself in that little corner. Where? She wanted to have some story. You see where he is in that I, corner? Yeah. So if you stand in front of the camera, you'd be able to see. Where? Right here. Right here. Right. Okay. Can he see us at this point? You see us? Can you hear us? Remember, remember, that's the camera he sees you by? No, I know he sees you by that camera. Okay. 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 He sees you through that. Okay. Oh, I got you now. But you see him through this. Well, you okay. see him through that too. Yeah, I see him through that too. Okay. Well, you, why don't you talk? You just pay attention to that, and we right. will pay attention to this. You see us? You see us through yes. this? Silver appearing on behalf of Tremaine Neverson. And good morning, Honor. May it please Honorable Court Charles Long Street the second, P68205, appearing on behalf of Mr. Tremaine Neverson. Mr. Neverson appears pursuant to Michigan Court Rule 6.006 with permission of the court based on a motion filed by the defense. Today is the date and time set for preliminary examination. My client understands he has the right to have an exam held within 21 days of the probable cause conference. Furthermore, he understands he has the right to have the prosecution show by a probable cause statement that one, the crime is committed, and two, he is a suspect in that crime. With that understanding, my client wishes to waive his right to the exam and be bound over to the third of court for the proceedings. I now submit my client for what dear to the court. All right, very good. Sir, could you have a seat, please? Judge, just for the record, I would indicate that we did submit a signed waiver form to the court as well. We do have that. Okay. All right, Mr. Neverson, you heard what your counsel has indicated? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can you hear me all right? Yes, ma'am. Very good. So you are in agreement with what he said today? Yes, ma'am. You kind of consoled with him or counseled with him, and with that counsel, you have decided knowingly, voluntarily, understandably, that you do want this examination waived today? Yes, ma'am. You also understand that you'll be bound over to the Wayne County Circuit Court Criminal Division, uh, and your arraignment on the information date, sir, will be February 24th, 17th. Is that correct? Yes, Very good. Yes, All right then, sir. So, finally, have you been promised anything in exchange for the waiver today? No, ma'am. And have you been threatened at all in regard to the waiver? No, ma'am. Prosecution want to indicate anything on the record at this time? The people have no objections to the waiver, and the people, again, have no objections to the defendant um, waiving his presence today pursuant to MCR 6.006 and just for the record that request was made by the defense. Right, it was made by the defense. Uh, the people had no objections to it. It was made uh, before this date but it was agreed to. So Mr. Neverson you will be bound over on the date as indicated. Is there anything else at this time? Uh, we would just ask that bond be continued. It is continued. Thank, Thank you, Your Honor. Much. Have a great day, all. Thank, Thank you.
The reports be true and accurate. No false news. Video doesn't usually lie. <laughs>